Hey guys, uh, welcome for the check-in, quick check-in before I quickly leave <laughs> for two weeks. So yeah, I was gonna tell you that um, I'm gonna be gone for two weeks. You will have your videos. Uh, they're all pre-recorded. So they're done for you for the time that I will be gone so that, you know, I won't give you a chance to miss me. Why would I do that? No. Um, <laughs> that's such a Leo thing to say. Okay, so um, I was gonna say something. A couple of things. One, um, thank you all. As I said before, I'm having a hard time keeping up with you guys, uh, with how fast everything's going, how fast everything's growing, actually, and it's because of you guys, and I appreciate it. I do read all of your emails, all of your notes, uh, from the donation sec sections, everything. So I do read them all. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to respond to them all. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys and the way you're responding to this channel, to everything that's, you know, I'm putting out there. I, I have no words. So, um, you're pretty darn cool, you guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, I did pass 200k and again, it happened so fast that I was like, wait, what? Uh, so yeah, it's because of you. Uh, second thing, somebody commented, uh, <laughs> that's funny because I was just thinking about uh, getting a haircut, right? And then I get this comment saying, you know, you look so depressed, uh, you would look so much better your light would shine so much you know if if you let your hair grow out and you put on some weight and i was like should i go with what i'm thinking about getting a haircut or should i go with how somebody wants me to be eh, eh. Mm -hmm. yeah you don't want to know the trouble my friends and family had uh their whole lives with me based on that. Oh, you should do this and that. I know. Uh, eh. mm. Just recently I had a, oh, we'll chat for a little bit because I mean, you know, if you don't want to chat, you can jump to the reading. It's fine. You'll get, you get the timestamps below. So you can skip this part if it's boring. But yeah, uh, in regards to that, I had a very interesting um, discussion with some of my closest friends and uh, two of them were, you know, experts in the field that we were talking about, <laughs> advising me on what I should do and things like that. And I think an hour in or two, maybe, it took me a while where, you know, I reached their conclusion where I'm like, yeah, I think, I think that's good. I think I'm going to go with that. And they're like, oh, really? <laughs> that's what we were saying from the beginning. I know. Um, so yeah, I feel chatty today. I, I think it's because I'm gonna go and I'm not gonna be really, really in touch with you guys for quite some time. I will be doing the check-ins from the road. So the, the check-ins from when I'm not home, who knows where I'll be? Well, I know, but um, <laughs> I'll be doing them from um, where I'm gonna be. All right, so you, I won't miss, miss those for sure. But the weeklies, mid-month, March, mid-month, those are uh, set from here. So don't be all confused, like, how is she home and then not home and then home and then, you know. Um, so yeah, another thing that I wanted to say, a very close friend of mine um, invited me to do something for their channel. They opened up a cooking channel. And since you know me with the cards and that's it, I'm like, you know what? We cook, we eat, we're humans. So I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. They invited me to do a video uh, for their channel. And I only accepted because they said I could do it in my kitchen. <laughs> and, you know, I don't have to move for it. And then thinking about something that I really, really like, um, if it could be a dessert, recipe and something traditional to you know where i'm from so i'm like yeah i'll do that i'll do that i'll definitely do that so um 
I'll post it up here in the video here and then possibly for the next two weeks or so um, up on my videos where you can go and check me out cooking my favorite dessert from back home and <laughs> it's gonna be silly because I, uh, I yeah you'll see but yeah uh, if you want to look at it and I told them I gave them a really kind of a huge kind of uh, stretch where I told them whenever you gain 50,000 subscribers I'll come back and do another recipe so yeah that's gonna be fun that's gonna be interesting but yeah I don't know I mean we'll see but they just started the channel and I thought it was a cool idea I'm like yeah why not you know uh, as long as I get to do it from my kitchen uh, yeah, no, not that I'm lazy. I love traveling. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so I think I think that's about it since I'm like really getting a reply from you guys I'm just it's like talking by myself. So I'm like, I know I know I'm talking to you. Okay. I know you're replying uh, Some of you already Hate me by now. Some of you love me, but are like, oh, come on. Come on with the cappy or the whatever You know, uh, but as I said, you can skip so yeah um anything else yeah my trip will be to sedona and california so i have no idea when i'm gonna be where but that's the target so hopefully um i get to do a couple of stuff it's gonna be interesting that's for sure and um i think that's it I think that's it. I think we're ready to go with this. So the check-ins for whoever is new. Hi. Sorry for um, talking so much. I usually don't do that. Um, quick energy check-ins for all signs individually. Really quick. What's coming out, coming out. No clarification on the cards. Uh, I'll be checking in into... So I'll go by elements. So earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. And um, I'll be checking into this energy that surrounds you in regards to another energy, which could be a person, uh, love interest, friend, boss, daughter, grandpa, dog even, cat. I know, right? Um, what else? Anything, anything, just about anything or anyone. You know, so I'll be looking into the energy of that or of where you're at, where this situation or person is at in regards to you. So where you're at in regards to them, where they're at in regards to you, where the connection is at. And then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for each sign. Uh, Felix is probably sleeping. You know what? I'll show you Oscar though, because you never get to see him because he's in disadvantage here. He's a dog. He's small. He can't climb up here, but he's sleeping now. So hold on. But I just cut his hair with a little mohawk. Ugh. Yeah, I just cut his hair. My baby boy. My baby boy. Where's your little brother at? So yeah, this is my boy, he's 15, he acts like he's two, and Felix is not even two, and he acts like he's his own age. But um, I don't know if he's gonna join Felix, so um, I guess we'll see. I left him kinda sleepy, I woke him up, cause I knew I was gonna come here, and I knew you guys wanted to see him, but he did this, like a cat does, and then I don't know what he did. We'll see, I guess. So yeah, let's get started, you guys. Enough talking. What is it? Wow, 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, enough talking. All right, let's get going here. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, what? <laughs> Earth signs. Uh, Capricorn. I started, it was like, yeah, whoever wants to watch this, it's for them. No, 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 it's for Cappy. All right, Cappy, let's do this, let's see. Uh, 
on your side here you get the ten of swords the three of cups and the ace of wands you don't really believe in the magic of a reconciliation here um you're pretty much defeated you feel like it's done it's done done it's completely done um i feel like there is this energy that you're feeling that's coming towards you kind of like hey reconciliation my name is reconciliation you know and you're like no no no, no. you can't even see it you're you know you're laying down you can't, no. Um, there's this energy around you, though, that kind of tells you that it might maybe happen, but you're not seeing that. Uh, for them, they get the Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Tower. Well, they're running around not knowing which direction to go with their love. I feel like they are uh, trying to go the opposite direction of you, you know, with this cup of love, but that's confusing the hell out of them. And it's like, I want to go away from you. That's what they tell themselves. But then what they're feeling is something else, right? And that creates a lot of confusion for this person. And that brings in a tower moment for them. And they realize that, oh my God, I feel like I'm stuck here. I can't really go. I want to go. I can't, you know? Uh, for the connection, the Chariot, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups, the both of you are running like hell from this get-together, it's looking like, you know? So, let's see, let me pull some cards from the universe for you. You get the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody, I feel like this is the both of you feel like, you know, really, really sad because this didn't really work out. I feel like this is a, a thing from the past, this happiness, this love. Right now, there's a lot of pain in between the two of you. So I'm not really getting that this Ten of Cups plus the King of Cups is, and I feel like this is your person, to be quite frank, where they might be depressed, they might be, you know, really really sad that this isn't working out because you're uh in that energy of oh crap yeah not really working out but i'm kind of done here you know they're actually carrying the sadness with them uh for how long i don't know i'm not clarifying so moving on to taurus So, on your side, you get the Eight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Pentacles. You're either getting some sort of a communication or some sort of a message, or even if you're seeing something, it doesn't have to be like verbal or written communication. It's, it's kind of like seeing something and you get a message out of it. It could be that. But whatever you're getting, it's kind of changing things for you. It's kind of pushing you forward towards this person. So, again, no idea what it could be but it's kind of making you want to move in your Taurus style, slowly, you know, patiently, but towards them. Uh, for this person, they get the Hangman, the King of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Hmm. Well, they're thinking about getting back together with you. It's interesting because they get the Hangman and the King of Swords, and this is where I would want to clarify. This is... Uh, uh, an energy of really, really, really thinking about things, but not really taking action, really stand still, the hangman. While the king of swords, that's an action kind of card. Huge ass action, you know? So I do see them uh, at least thinking about this, if not to the point where, you know, they want to take action. 
For the connection, you get the Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. I do see you as the Emperor wanting this brand new beginning, and it's been a long time coming here with the Three of Wands. You took your time, or they took their time, whoever. Whoever. Let me pull some cards from the universe. You get the High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. <laughs> Your intuition is telling you to speak, to communicate, to talk to this person, to, you know, to talk about this situation or talk to this person. And your 3D self is like, no, 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 uh-uh, I've got nothing to say to this person. Yeah, but your intuition does have a lot to say to this person, you know, so I don't know what you're going to do about that, but you, there's, there's like a continuous fight with you, Taurus, you know, in between what you feel and what you think. So it's kind of the same thing with, I do see communication came, came out twice on your side here, so. Taurus, that's what I have for you. Um, moving on to Virgo. On your side, you get the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. You're manifesting some sort of partnership here to come together, because you're really, really down, really low, kind of like um, you're bored. Um, it could, this could be in regards to work, because you got, like if I look, there's not as many pentacles as you would think, but if I look at the, the image that this, spread creates for me it's very green very steady very earthy you know so it's it could be in regards to work to your material world here but you know take it as it resonates but i do see you being very discontent in a situation and you're trying to um possibly manifest it back to life maybe it's something that you think is dead you know um for them for them <laughs> for their side you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Lover, so... Yeah. Well, they feel a very strong connection to you. This person feels single. They don't like that they're single because they're feeling really, really strongly towards you. So it's like, yeah, I'm single, I'm good, but I don't wanna, you know? Uh, for the connection, you get the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to, I feel like there was a fight, a breakup, a whatever, separation here. Somebody wants to restore this. Somebody is uh, kind of fixated on bringing this back, on making this happen again. Could be you, could be them, you know. Let's uh, pull up some cards from the universe. I think I overdid it with the heat again. I always do that. All right, so you get the Judgment card, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody doesn't like that, the two of you, and the Four of Cups is on your side. Uh, you're, you're really, really, really not liking that. The separation, this feeling that this person is not yours anymore, that you're not theirs, and whatever the case. And I feel like the universe is kind of tapping your shoulder, saying, hey, you need to do something about this, you know? I don't know what. I mean, don't look at this video and be like, oh, I need to do something because, you know, it has to come from within. If you feel like you're being pushed towards doing something because this feeling sucks, then do something, you know? If you don't feel that, don't do anything. You know, you would know. It's kind of like an instinct where you feel things. So... 
That's it, Virgo. Moving on to fire signs. Aries. Wow. Okay. So, on your side, Aries, you get the King of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Uh, you, you, <laughs> there's somebody you've been dealing with that you don't want to be dealing with anymore. It's looking like, you know, and you're very determined. It's like you made a decision and you're not turning back from that. But I do feel like you're recognizing that um, you've learned a lot from this connection, you know? You gain a lot from it somehow. Maybe you're not seeing it now, but you will. But currently, I see you uh, turning your back to this. For them, they get the Nine of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. They're resisting. Uh, whatever they're feeling towards you, they're resisting that. And that's making them feel just, you know... That's actually sabotaging the whole relationship here. That's kind of screwing things up for the both of you. Because they're like, no, no, um, I can't allow myself to feel this. Well, you can or you can't, you're still feeling it. So, you know, it's not a matter of I want, I can't, I... That's crap. You're feeling what you're feeling. And there's a lot of passion towards you, Aries. They're not uh, letting themselves feel that. For the connection, that's all you. You took over the connection. The connection is you, basically. You get the King of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Emperor. You're in your power like no tomorrow, but you've been through a major transformation, a major change in your life that led you to this. And again, I'm kind of seeing that whatever this person did, and it does look like, you know, deception is here in the middle of the spread, uh, to you, you kind of took it as a lesson and just learned a lot about yourself, and that kind of opened the road up to you for it. A major transformation and a major healing here. You know, let me pull up some cards from the universe. You get the star, the seven of pentacles, and the seven of wands. Yeah, you're kind of in that phase of realizing that uh, whatever it is in this life that you want, that you truly want, you're gonna fight for it, you're gonna work for it, you're gonna have it, pretty much, you know? It could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be just about anything. But it's like you're in that state of nothing is impossible. So, I love that for you, actually. Because you're right. And even if it is, Good to think that it's not. All right, let's move on to Leo. Too hot, huh? I know, I overdid it. I'm starting to sweat here. Oh well, if I'm if I'm complaining about being too hot, I don't want my friends to be around me right now. They're always like, oh, it's so warm in your place. It's too warm. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's normal. It's not. I know it's not. Keeping my place warm. What's going on here, Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. What are you doing here? Well, you're not doing anything. Um, on your side, you get the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Swords. You're actually doing a lot. You're walking away from all this crap, all of this bullshit, all of this, these swords, these burdens, everything that brought you down. 
No more. None of that. You're walking away from that. You're moving on to calmer waters. It could be in regards to this person, of course, because it's, you know, this reading is comes as a package deal here. But um, whatever this person caused you in terms of pain and burdens and all of that, bye-bye. For them, however. They get the Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Empress. They're feeling tortured. They're feeling confused as hell. But they're in a lot of pain because of their Empress, which is you. For the connection, you get the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. This waiting game, um, something's going to change here in this connection. There's going to be no more waiting. Uh, somebody's putting a stop to the waiting in terms of either somebody's taking action or, or it could be both, or uh, somebody doesn't even care if anything happens here. And both of those situations will put an end to this uh, waiting, right? So, let me uh, pull some cards from the universe for you. You get the Magician, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands. Wow. It's really interesting because in this um, deck here, the Two of Wands seems... To me, the, the way I saw it when I put everything together here, so the way I saw this here, it's like a gate opening up to something, to the world, pretty much. You know, you're taking on the world. Um, moving forward, just confident. With the Magician and the High Priestess, this is you listening to your intuition, you being in your power and being able to manifest pretty much anything you want, you know? This is a very good energy I'm feeling. I don't even want to detach from it because it feels so good. I'm like, I'm going to sit here for... Okay. Give me like five minutes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But this is good energy. All right. So, yeah. I saw all of those swords and wands and all of that. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? But no, it's actually... I mean, your person... Not going through the best time, that's for sure. Let's move on to Tom and Jerry. Sagittarius. Let's see. Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry. God, this, this thing doesn't stop, right? No, I need to stop it. It's really, really hot. It, it does, like, now, not only does this room look like a sauna, it feels like a sauna. Because I think it's, it's gotten warmer outside and I forgot to, you know, to adjust the temperature inside. Whoops. I am reading for fire signs though, so I might be burning up from the inside. Um, on your side, you get the Five of Cups, the uh, Two of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Oof, still very much in your head about this connection. You're very sad. Uh, you're in that stage of almost grieving, maybe grieving this person, kind of like, okay, it's done. Um, I need to accept this and move on. But you're still very much confused and in your head about it. You're not understanding because you're still feeling this pull, this draw towards them, right? This, mm, this is a very stable commitment, it's looking like, or it, it could be. It has that potential, you know? For them, they get the Nine of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Hermit. They have no clue. Uh, they're pretty much in the same kind of place as you are. They're really sad really conflicted they have no idea how to fix this with you i feel like they're trying to look um look at ways on how to do that and they have no idea where to start you know when you have like a hundred ideas and you don't know which one you should start with it's a matter of just starting and then you'll see you know but it's like yeah 
it's a mirror kind of thing. You two are mirroring each other. Um, the connection, you get the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, like what I just said, just start from whichever place. You know, this situation needs just to start up because then it'll it'll grow into itself. It's it, it kind of like you'll know what to do, the both of you. But currently, you two are going through a period of healing. Yeah. So, um, let me pull some cards from the universe for you. <clears throat> You get the Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. This is a lot of that feeling of, oh my god, it hurts so much that I just want it to stop. I don't want to be in pain anymore. You know? Because um, you feel like the other person turned their back. And it's like they don't care. So, you know, I'm going through this on my own. They don't even give a damn here. But... I'm here to tell you that the both of you are thinking this because you're mirroring each other. So what that tells me is that the both of you care. But with the Four of Swords here in the connection, this connection probably needs a little bit of a break, which you two are giving it now with what it is that you're going through individually. So things happen for a reason, you know? So moving on to, what the hell did I do? Okay, air signs, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, let's see. Okay, so on your side, you get the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Cups. Um, you're having a hard time choosing. Um, I feel like you're presented possibly with different options, perspectives, and it could be in just about anything. doesn't have to be in love, uh, but it could be in love, you know, where a few people are presenting themselves to you, like potential partners, right? And you have one person in mind that you truly, truly love. The other ones, yeah, they're there. Um, they're good to take into consideration, but nothing like, you know, nothing like this. There's one specific one. Um, and it's making things hard because I feel like you're not with this person, you know? Even though you may have options, you don't care about that. Um, for them, they get the Sun, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Well, they're thinking happiness for their, when they're thinking about you. Happiness and stability. Um, they want to they wanna come back together with you, whatever happened in between the two of you. This person wants that energy gone. Their, um, their energy is really, really positive right now. They're um, at a high vibration for sure. And they're kind of bringing the whole thing, the whole connection with them. They're pulling that up, the energy of the connection. You may be sensing that, but... All right, let's take a look at the connection, though. The Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Tower. Uh, I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough uh, if the two of you open up to communication, um, possibly towards happiness, towards realizing that the both of you want the same things, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it does look like it stands in the communication part. So if this doesn't happen, then this doesn't necessarily come up and you're both going to be feeling like whatever it is that you're feeling individually instead of putting those energies together. Because that would be freaking awesome to happen. 
there's a lot of positive on their side there's a little bit of confusion on your side but a lot a lot of love on your side so i feel like there's going to be a breakthrough um with this communication that's wanting to come in hopefully it will let me um pull some cards from the universe You get the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. You're missing someone like crazy. You're missing this person, Gemini. It's looking like there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of missing what this person brought into your life. It could be a fire sign, or this person brought a lot, a lot of passion into your life, and you're missing that. All right, you or them. I don't know. It might be the both of you. Why not admit to it, you know, if you miss somebody? I'm not missing anybody. I'm good. Oh, well, I don't know. I think you're missing them. So, moving on to Libra. Libra, on your side, you get the um, Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Um, I feel like you're, the minute I started laying down the cards, I just thought, you know, I think I feel like a lot of people are in this self-care kind of energy, and then this shows up for you, which is kind of telling me that, you know, um, where you're taking care of yourself, uh, of yourself, you're starting to learn new things on how to do that, possibly, or wanting to even open up a business on teaching people how to do that, you know? Could be that. But in regards to this connection, pfft, confused as fuck, pretty much. You're in your head, you have no clue what to do about it. Don't see too much in this energy. This is self-imposed. You can easily get yourself out of that, you know, uh, for them. They get the Queen of Swords, the Chariot, and the Hierophant. It's kind of looking like they have you in their mind and in their direction here. The direction of their Chariot is a possibly a marriage with you. Huh. It kind of seems to me that this person is attached to you energetically like crazy. They're coming towards you like crazy energetically. In the physical realm here, not so much. This person has been... lazy not not putting the the work into themselves to get themselves to align to that energetic energy right where normally they should have been here by you know since last year but keep on coming keep on coming let me uh oh no um don't let me um, for the connection, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this connection, um, currently the both of you are contributing to it. Uh, you're sustaining it. You're growing it. You may not even realize it. Because as I said, energetically, the two of you are connected and are moving forward together. In this reality, different story. But the two of you are building this towards this brand new beginning. You know, there's a lot of stability that comes with it, a lot of love here for the connection but mm, let's pull some cards from the universe knight of swords page of pentacles the moon Somebody's starting to learn to open up, to not be deceptive anymore, to not keep whatever they're feeling to themselves. Um, somebody's starting like tiny, tiny steps towards opening up, towards being honest. 
feel like that's your person. Could be you. You know, so that's a start. That's a start, definitely. All right, Libra, moving on to Aquarius. I love it when you guys open up the readings with uh, your own cards, your own energies. So on your side, you get the star, the temperance card, and the two of wands. Um, you're, uh, you're patiently moving forward, moving towards whatever it is that makes you feel really, really happy. Could be a person, could be a situation, but I see you um, persevering and at the same time having a lot of patience kind of like whenever it's supposed to happen it's gonna happen and i'm gonna be right there to get it you know i do see you um thinking about this person or situation as wish fulfillment your star you know so it could be you're being patient about them um for them they get the seven of swords the ten of wands and the Queen of Swords. This person is starting to speak up. To it does feel uh, this energy, you know, where you're so worn out and so tired of fighting and of doing this and that and conflict and taking all that on you that you barely even kind of stand up for yourself and speak your truth anymore. You're like sitting there in a corner, kind of like letting everybody talk and not caring well this person is starting to show up show back up with a voice for themselves it's looking like so they're dropping the burdens and they're becoming a little more determined here <laughs> it's looking it's kind of like you're waiting for this person to grow up and they are you know as a simple way of kind of seeing things here like a child play uh for the connection you get the ace of pentacles the strength and the Knight of Cups, yeah, this brand new beginning is coming, and you know that. It just requires a little bit of um, strength and love. That's it. But it's coming. It's on the way. All right. Let me um, pull some cards from the universe for you. Eight of Wands, Strength, and the Hermit. Wow. Maybe dealing with the Leo? Oh, we got Sagi, Virgo. Uh, but whatever the case, I feel like um, there's communication coming. There's communication coming. It could be in regards to this brand new beginning. Kind of like, let's see how we get this going. Because somebody thought about this long and hard. It's not going to be one of those stupid texts like, Hey, what's up? Uh... How's your dog? How's your cat? You know, um, it's more meaningful, or it should be, because this person thought about it. So, I don't know who's initiating that, but somebody is. Uh, moving on to water signs. Cancer. Sorry guys, um, to disappoint, but I don't think Felix is going to show up today. Or maybe he's going to surprise us. There's still time. On your side, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the uh, Ace of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. 
you changed your mind in regards to this connection. Um, I'm not sure which direction you are coming from, either from a place where you thought this connection was dead or something changed within you when it comes to this connection. You know, but you're still a little bit confused, not knowing exactly how to go towards this person. You just know that you want them back, possibly. You know, but you may be unsure on how to do that. Uh, for them, they get the Queen of Wands, the Hermit, and the Magician. Ooh, interesting. I feel like they're manifesting you into their life. So that's why things may have changed. This person may have manifested you, may have called you. Um, into their lives or back into their lives in the way it's looking like in the connection. They thought about it long and hard and they feel very passionate towards you. Hmm. For the connection, you get the Six of Cups, the uh, Three of Swords and the Moon. Oof. Uh, things, there are a lot of unresolved things between the two of you. This is indeed a powerful connection between you two, but a lot of things were unsaid that brought a lot of pain. Feelings were not shared. Um, people were keeping stuff from the other person, like deception, illusions, things like that. There was a lot of that going on, which brought in a lot of pain between the two of you. So you, you I do sense that there's a, um, an energy that pulls the two of you back together. But if you do come back together, don't even worry about what you're feeling. It's the unaddressed issues that you have between the two of you. You know? Because you need to resolve those. And then start figuring out what it is that you feel towards each other, you know? Uh, let's pull some cards from the universe. You get the uh, Nine of Wands, the Justice card, and the Three of Swords. Somebody wants an apology here. I kind of feel like it's you. It could be them. Let's see. Could be them. Could be them that are waiting for some sort of an apology. It's not even about that, to be quite frank. At this point, it's not about the other person apologizing. It's for the both of you to assume where each of you had their share in this pain and their contribution in hurting the other person or things like that, you know? It's kind of looking like that. So, moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, you get the Queen of Wands, the Tower, and the Hierophant here uh, on your side. So something's happening in this connection, something that's kind of changing uh, how you feel about things, how you view things, how you want to act towards things. Something is changing in this dynamic that you have. Ah, I still want to clarify. And I know you'll say, well, make an exception. No, I'm not gonna. Um, for your person, they get the Fool, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Swords. They don't want to look at this energy of getting back together with you. I feel like you may be wanting that. They may refuse you. They may be like, no. And that might actually bring in the tower because I don't think you're expecting that. For the connection, you get the hangman, the devil, and the star. Did you have that recently in a reading? I feel like uh, there's something toxic here, definitely. And there's a lot of thinking about that, but it's kind of like you're, uh, it's right in front of you and you're missing it. You're not seeing it. Whatever is toxic here. And what I feel is toxic here is that 
false idea that this person may be who you want. You know, it may be an obsession. It, mm, and it could be both ways. It could be them that are feeling this, you know, that, oh my God, I so want this. It's what I truly want. I don't know. I don't know. It's not coming up like that here. You know, it's coming up more like something that's creating a lot of toxicity in the situation. Something more like an obsession. Yeah. From the universe, you get the star, the tower, the five of pentacles. Somebody's being left out in the cold here. This tower is bringing a separation here, basically, right? And it's in regards to, look, the star, they came out with the devil. Either somebody's figuring out, uh, somebody's not missing the point anymore and is seeing that that's the problem and they want out, or I don't know what's going on here, but there's a lot. This is intense. This is really intense what I'm feeling. With this reading so yeah Scorpio unfortunately you know I have to be fair to everybody else so I'm not gonna be clarifying but you have readings coming up so you'll see all right so that's it moving on to Pisces Alright, so on your side, you get the King of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. What are you doing here, Pisces? Uh, it's looking like you're feeling very passionate about this person currently. And it also, <laughs> it also kind of seems like you want to communicate to them, but kind of like trying to trick them into something it's looking like. Maybe because you're feeling so drawn to them. I don't know, you could come up with a thousand different things to tell this person that's gonna be like, not really what you truly feel, but going around it and having them come your way, you know? A little bit manipulative here, a little bit. But I don't see it as, you know, you being malicious and wanting to take revenge. No, it's kind of like a, a, I really need this person right now, so I gotta think about a way um, I, I gotta come up with a way to have them think that they need to be near me, you know, kind of like that. It, it's kind of funny the way I'm seeing it. It's not, it's not, I mean, I don't feel anything evil here or, you know, it, it, it's a little funny. It's kind of like a kid's play here. Um, but it's because you feel very drawn to this person. So for on their side, they get the full... The Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This person, <laughs> this is exactly what this person doesn't need anymore. You know, kids play. Um, they don't want impulsiveness. They don't want for things to be like, hey, let's play. Let's go have a balloon fight. I don't know, something. You know, they don't want any of that. They want stability. And they are looking at you for that, which to me, again, it's funny because you just came out with, hey, let's play a game here, you know? So... They do want this with you. Not as long as uh, there's this immature kind of energy in the way. Uh, for the connection, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Star, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's figuring out that this, um, this connection is what they truly want, and they're going to take action. I feel like this is your person, to be quite frank. It could be you. But, like, things are changing just like that overnight for them, and they're realizing, hey, I need to go get me my Pisces, you know? So, let me pull some cards from the universe. Mm. No Felix today. Sorry. You'll get to see him in the on the road, taking my boys with me.
yeah, yeah, two of you coming together, reconciliation, it's all here. Communication about a possible coming back together, about a beautiful union in between two people. So that's it. No Felix. I'm surprised I stayed under an hour here with the long introduction that I had. But yeah, I'm done. I'm done. All right, guys. So um, yeah. Thank you again to all of you for watching these videos, for sharing them, for, uh, for liking them, for um, commenting, for emailing me, for, for everything. I do have social media, I don't use it though. So that's why I'm not even bothering to really put it up there. Um, and hopefully I can get that video done that I promised with, you know, a little explanation about this, that, the other, um, how I learned this and decks that I'm using and readers that help me and my zodiac sign, you know, things like that. So I don't know, uh, it's coming up, but right now I just want to enjoy the, the first couple of day of intense energy that I'm going to be going through um over the weekend and then past that and then just freaking relax in the sun that's what california is going to be for so uh that's it hopefully you guys um hopefully these readings helped you and i'll see you i'll see you when i see you bye